it's Musa and we will see imaging with illustrations. So Musa is nothing but morphological uterus sonographic assessment which is used for describing the adenomyotic lesions or focal mimetral lesions and uh, transvaginal sonography and magnetic resonance imagery has allowed non-invasive diagnosis of adenomyosis. So these are the seven different seven uh, features we have to see for describing the adenomyosis. First one is identification of the presence of adenomyosis. Second one is determination of the location of the adenomyosis. D third one is differentiation between focal and diffuse type. Fourth one we have to discriminate between non-cystic type and cystic type. Fifth one is de determination of the myometrial layer involvement. Sixth one is classification whether it is a mild or moderate or severe adenomyosis. Seventh one is measurement of the size of the lesion. So these are the seven steps we had to assess. Pause the slide and see all the seven steps we had to assess for describing the adenomyosis lesions. I have uh, drawn these uh, illustrations which are handmade so that you can easily understand the different uh, varying morphological features in adenomyosis. So adenomyosis can present as multiple cysts. Sometimes it can present as multiple islands which are considered as non-cystic type. Sometimes there may be cysts and even islands. Sometimes there can be ecogenic subendometrial lines. These are the ecogenic subendometrial lines and sometimes subendometrial buds. Here you can see these are the hyperechoic islands. Here sometimes you can describe, you can see a focal lesion with raised translational vascularity. Sometimes you can see fan shaped shadowing either in the anteromyometrium or postromyometrium. Sometimes and even you can see there may be thickening that is thickening of the myometrium which can be asymmetrical thickening. Here this is asymmetrical anterowall thickening. Here this is asymmetrical postrowall thickening. And here this is the normal junctional zone. This is interrupted junctional zone and this is irregular junctional zone. So these are the, all the Musa features we have to uh, use in describing the adenomyotis lesions. Next, based upon locations, you have, can see this is the asymmetrical anterior wall thickening. Here you can see this is asymmetrical posterior wall thickening. And this is both anterior and posterior wall are thickened leading to diffuse or globular enlargement of the uterus. Next, and we have to differentiate whether it is a focal, diffuse or mixed type. Focal lesion, it is described as focal lesion if there is greater than 25% of the circumference of the lesion is surrounded by a normal myometrium. Diffuse type, if the less than 25% of the lesion is surrounded by a normal myometrium. And if it is difficult to differentiate between focal and diffuse, it is considered as diffuse. If there is diffuse and focal adenomyosis in different locations of the uterus, it is considered as mixed type of adenomyosis. So this is a focal and this is a diffuse type of adenomyosis. Next, you have to differentiate them into cystic type and this is non-cystic type. And, be, and also you have to uh, understand, we have to uh, stratify the layers of the uterus and uh, you also describe the involvement of the layers of the uterus. Here you can see this is a graphical illustration where you can see this is the endometrial uterine cavity, this is the endometrium and the, this is the inner myometrium which is close to the endometrium which is called as junctional zone. And the middle myometrium is nothing but placed between the inner myometrium and the red layer which is called as vascular arcade. And outer myometrium is, is, uh, is placed between the vascular arcade and the subserosal layer. So this is uh, endometrium, inner myometrium, middle myometrium and outer myometrium. So this is the different layers of the uterus. Here you can see there is an adenomyotic lesion in the inner myometrium. Here you can see there is an adenomyotic lesion in the middle myometrium. Here you can see there is adenomyotic lesion in the outer myometrium. So we can describe the location of the aden uh, adenomyosis in the uterine layers by these illustrations. So these are the inner, this is middle myometrium and this is outer myometrium. Next extent of the adenomyosis, it is classified if it is mild, that if it is less than 25% of the myometrium is involved, it is called mild. If it is 25 to 50% of the myometrium is involved, it is called moderate. If it is greater than 50% of the involvement of the myometrium, it is called as severe adenomyosis. Next, we will try to see some cases with illustrations. Here you can see, this is, this is the, there are multiple subendometrial lines. Here you can see this is the subendometrial line and this is also ecogenic subendometrial lines. So these are the subendometrial lines. Next, in this case, we will try to see multiple subendometrial buds. So these are the, you can see these are the subendometrial buds. Next, we will try to see the islands, that is hyperechoic islands. You can see this is the hyperechoic island. This is also a hyperechoic island. So these are the hyperechoic islands of varying sizes and shapes. Next, uh, you can see there is diffuse enlargement of the uterus with the loss of junctional zone. 
and also you can see there are multiple subendometrial cysts. These are the multiple subendometrial cysts. Thanks to Dr. Lamol Karwande for contributing this case. Next here also you can see there is a diffuse asymmetrical thickening. There are multiple subendometrial uh, ecogenic islands and also loss of junctional zone with asymmetrical post wall thickening and also there is focal adenomyosis in the fundus of the uterus. So this is also contributed by Dr. Amol Karwende and this is the graphic illustration which is showing diffuse adenomyosis. Next uh, the, we will try to see HSG. In HSG the, there will be the contrast from the endometrium is seen filling into the uh, out, uh, outpouchings which are extending into the myometrium. So whenever you see regular contour of the uterus with outpouching of the contrast from the endometrium into the subendometrial uh, that is my, outpouchings into the myometrium it is considered as adenomyosis. So these are nothing but multiple diverticulae which, has, which are arising from the endometrium and extending into the myometrium which are filled by contrast in HSG. So this is H adenomyosis on HSG. Next case we will see try to see on MR. So here you can see there are multiple subendometrial hyperintense cystic lesions and even few island areas and also there is loss of junctional zone and also here you can see there is a, a focal adenomyosis in the fundus of the uterus with multiple subendometrial cysts. Here also you can see there is a diffuse adenomyosis, this is diffuse adenomyosis and this is focal adenomyosis. This is a type of mixed type of adenomyosis and you can see multiple subendometrial hyperintense cystic lesions. And here you can see there is a uh, endometri endometriosis mimicking as a adenomyoma in the anterior wall of the uterus. So these are all the varied, varied presentations of the adenomyosis on MRI. Next we will try to see this is the HSG where you can see multiple contrast filled outpouchings extending from the endometrium into the myometrium. This is you can see subendometrial ecogenic lines and even subendometrial ecogenic buds on ultrasound. Here you can see we have also seen there is loss of junctional zone with multiple hyper intense uh, myometrial cysts noted in the uh, endometrium and even in the junctional zone with loss of junctional zone. Here this is the graphic illustration. And here this you can see this is the HPE gross specimen where you can see diffuse asymmetrical thickening of the post wall. There are multiple subendometrial cysts and even there is a blood or brown stained blood which is seen in the cysts which are sometimes called, called cigar burn appearance. So these are the varied presentations of the adenomyosis. And basing upon these seven features, they are they are classified into different uh, types. You can pause the slide and see these different classifications, which are uh, used for uh, used uh, which are classifying the adenomyosis basing upon the MUSA features. Here, this is the sonographic classification reporting system for diagnosing adenomyosis. This is the journal from which we are, I have taken all these illustrations, which is uh, see which is uh, uh, published by Bosch et al. Happy Raksha Bandhan Independence Day. Thank you all.